so hi guys um should i say welcome to my youtube channel and i'm looking the shag guest of myself but guys understand niko shago and you know the baby and everything like yo i ought to just look like this so guys i'm just from the kitchen Baby Milk has slept. Nasijumbo na leo amelala sana. He has slept like how many minutes? Like 45 minutes. The most he has ever slept is like 30 minutes since he was like 2 months. So guys, today I'm having spaghetti. Since I put to bed guys like snack siji tutaita snack ama nini. As in I love plastic food like indomie and this one. Like in a skumanja, cause when you're breastfeeding, my dear people, wa, yani, ukunakula kidogo, ndoto kinyani unaskia tunja. Guys, ni metoka kuoga. I hope sina mafuta mingi. I didn't know that I would shoot, but I just figured out that I have to shoot. So guys, I have a lot to tell you. Guys, I regretted not filming. Like, I met two people. One is called Metrin and the other one is called Jotham. They had come to visit my baby and I was so happy. I don't know. They are the friends to the dad to meals. So they came, they brought some clothes, they bought pampas and yo they were so yani they were so friendly, so kind and I don't know. They're just good people. And I just have... If you're watching, thank you so much, Metrin. Thank you so much, Jotham. May God bless you. May God always fill your cups, you know? People like you are just awesome, guys. You're just awesome. I don't know what to add or what not to add, but God bless you for me. God bless you. So... I wanted to show you the clothes they bought me. Like Sijui Mango Zam to easy clothes and the kwa kidogo like if he's going to wear the clothes that he had, like it acquired next month. So I was just figuring out when you need to end up to Zamtui. And I was just so happy. I'm just like, God bless you and Metrin, you're just the best. Guys, one day you'll meet them, but you know, she's a beautiful woman she's so kind she's so friendly and just like have you ever met people and you just click like once with them she's one of those people so guys i said aob don't mind the way i'm looking don't mind the way i'm looking i'm just trying to be real no makeup no wherever but guys now just using me i think Story time, so I'm going to make a, like lipstick and eye pencil. We'll do better, guys. We'll do better. I didn't have time to do all those things. So, guys, I hope, I wish we get that test. By the way, guys, I make the best spaghettis. I do make the best. So, could you touch by the way? Who is any water? When you're to nation, wow. Guys, I don't know, but I'm so happy that we are one, at 152 subscribers. I don't know, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Should we call this a mukbang or something? Because I'm eating and talking to you guys. Next time, to kikula more, more delicious food or <laughs> more complicated food, I will put a disclaimer. And don't try to your kukula when you're talking. So... Mm -hmm. I think I'll show you the clothes. The museum shall say, "Is it dry up? Maybe is it dry up tomorrow because no na jua ina taka kupotea." I think I'll show you tomorrow. So guys, um, I don't know, but I'm so happy. Yani, I don't know. Since Saturday, I've been having the best peace of mind. I've been having the best peace of mind. Yani, since I gave birth, like, I think I've been under postpartum depression. And especially, guys, Sijui, but if you have a nursing mother, 
like always visit them or call or pigie simu like just you know ukimpata mbebe mtoto kiasi cuz it's so hectic you know before i became a mother siko na job yenye ni hectic you know you'll see a baby crying unapea mama yake so <laughs> kitu fani ni sai mtoto akilia wewe ndo unapewa jioni mama yake sasa hivi mtoto akilia unaweza pia mtu mwingine ni wewe you'll deal with it but guys i'm a re- sorry guys pardon me i'm a really strong woman by the way you are yes kujichocha but me ni yani i'm a power woman as in the far i've reached siko na jioni za fika hapa yani since week 3 of giving birth yani have been through a lot i don't know but kitu mimi nime realize as in hata kwa bible kumesemwa god doesn't tempt you beyond your like your means you know god as in the challenges that you face mungu aliweka hapo for purpose so guys for me you know when they say happy mother's day by the way yani kuna meaning a lot a lot so imagine mimi have just been a mother for five months so imagine my mom your mom yani you know for 27 years for 23 for 21 you know hadi umefika hapo you just you should just respect your moms you know just respect your mom so today i wanted to talk about something mm. I need to talk something very serious by the way very very serious so i wanted to talk about contraceptives and basically about the the sex topic and everything around it so guys for me the first time i heard about sex was when i was in class 6 to kifunzwa the reproductive part Then after hapo when I started my periods I started my periods when I was in class 8. Um, my mom just told me ah I remember that day when I started my menstruation. My mom as in you can't wanna kususu it was a subui. Then I came to my mom I told him I think I'm bleeding. Nilikuwa nimesikia anga by the my classmates since we are in class 6 wameanza kunyesha but mimi sikuwa nimeanza. So I don't know why it didn't click to me that nimeanza kunye kunyesha. So when I told my mom, my mom akanyesha vile na vasa sanitary towels and she told me by there from today you have to be careful, you know, because you'll get pregnant. So guys, for me it's equal worried because, you know, if I was in a relationship with Kwe la Ujinga and Kazi, I don't nilikuwa tena boyfriend. People are hard, but for me, uh uh-uh, with the mother I have I couldn't even try to have a boyfriend but kuna ile kuandika na leta I was in boarding school you know the normal thing but it never went further than calling bo- it was just like friends you know so guys hmm. I went to from 1 from 2 from 3 from 4 I had people going for parties wherever wherever but for me I had really really grounded parents you know I do to say manga my, my dad knew I a steamer na mamangu ni shock i don't know someone once told me that so guys for me i'll be sincere with you i was a virgin till when i was in i was finishing first year you know first year when i was finishing first year so guys you know until i was 19 20 19 years so guys yeah so you know when you nilingia kole na sikia watu wanasema mimi nimeka sijua nimeza p2 mimi nimeka implant mimi nimeka wa depo but as in kwa akili yangu siko ifikiria in that sense you know cuz nobody educated me ama cuz even when we were in high school tuko tunafunza kuhusu pads sanitary towels but nobody went into that sex education and i think it's so important even me if i'm going to have a, a even meals al even my baby meals and if god blesses me with other children in future na sema nini i will teach them from a younger age like kwa kifika even adolescents 12 13 years because guys i think like in this african society we are not taught about sex about contraceptives and you find many girls out there who are under age 
become pregnant, you know, because of lack of knowledge. So, she has water, of course. So, I'm just like, we should just teach our children or introduce these things in schools. Or, yani, you teach both the boy and girl child. Don't teach the boy or don't teach the girl child. Because it takes two people to become parents. Indio. So, guys, I wouldn't say mine, like, I wouldn't say that people are illiterate. Ata kuna mina university. But, you know, in that point of sex and wherever, people just know about CDs or something. But they don't know about, like, the contraceptives. Like, you are three years implant. You know, I think they wish, as in, I don't know, but for me, I was watching a certain video on YouTube and I just was like, you know what, I have to talk about it in my channel, you know, and yo, so guys, if you are a college student, I wouldn't advise if you are under 18, but if you are a college student or, you know, you are dating or, you know, preparing for marriage, um, I think for me, I think contraceptives are very, very important, I think. Because by the way, channel will create, to create our awareness, guys. will create a channel. Apart from lifestyle, I want to impact in other people's lives, you know. Those young girls who are watching me. Those boy child who, has, who have girlfriends in high school. Who have girlfriends who are under, you know. Let's to see each other, but let's just be real. So, guys, I'm just like contraceptives should be made like something normal, you know, to see each other, each other. Then tomorrow you just find like a 13 year old girl child is pregnant with twins, you know, at a Janza secondary or high school. So, guys, that is what I want you to talk about. Like, it just crossed my mind, and I was just like, I have to share about this you know i have to share about this and by the way this the other thing i saw it online you know morals you know if you want to teach morals like you find people dating like what we really on a date alafu unashanga why is this guy anaka hajiriziwa vizuri mbona huyu msichana anaka hajiriziwa vizuri it's because of morals guys it's because yeah, I may believe like people grow the way they their parents want them to grow. And these days parents like ignore children. Bora mwa bayagari, ya kuchezea, bora mbocha kwa hapo na washia nguo. Bora ya menda kazi 24-7 Monday to Saturday, Sunday, ana chill nyumbani. They don't know even what their children are engaging in. Guys, have you had like kuna mtoto wa 11 years old? is pregnant. Mtoto atajua Woga vizuri and she's already becoming a mother. I feel like parents should be more close to their children, especially like a mother should be close to a girl, the father should be close to the son, so that these morals are up as an up broad. Kuna kitu kama abroad. Hey guys, mukale mwenyewe. Like these morals in Anzia home, you know, you can't expect to take your child from. As in a pelicam to boarding class three. Alafu kesho na shangana vuta bangya kwa high school. Cause you are you are not like present in their life. You know? I'm sorry guys I keep looking at this direction. I'm really, really sorry. I don't know. I should be focusing on the camera, right? So guys, that is something I'm just like and I wanted to even write an article on the Daily Nation so that like I don't know. Jeno siku, yani iyo nilikuwa na iyo wito. Praise the living Lord. Hallelujah. So guys, so. Hmm? You can be in a home. The mom cannot talk to you. But you are a big sister and you have a, like a young sister who is in high school, who is in primary school. Try to be present in their lives, you know. Kuna ile watoto wanaenda kucheza. Kidogo nasikia kuna boy. The child doesn't even know, hasn't even mastered good English. Doesn't even know how to take a shower. And you know, I don't know, but my face in the wing is. So take care of your young, young sisters. 
young brothers you know excuse hata kuna you know women rep young boys you know we live in a discarded society right now so guys that is what i wanted to just talk about you know there was a certain youtuber who was talking about it and i was just like you know what my people over here the 152 of you who are about to become 1000 should just listen to this message because what uh -uh. yeah guys so i think it's like that um I don't know if this video is long enough, but if it ain't, I will include uh, the clothes they bought me and some other activities. Today is on uh, Tuesday. I wanted to post the other video. I think nearly post Leo. I wanted to post it on Sunday, but you know, the fun was too much. You know, Kinametrin and Jotham and their mom. God bless you. Nimonga Sana, but God bless you. And today the post notification goes to them. May God bless you. May God fill your cups. You know, ni meonga sana. So, I think. Guys, so bye. Bye.